My name is Charles Belmont Keeney III. I have a PhD with specialization in Appalachian and American history. I'm the great grandson of Frank Keeney, who was president of the United Mine Workers in West Virginia from 1917 to 1921, and one of the organizers of the original march on Blair Mountain. And I'm on the board member of the Friends of Blair Mountain. Okay, well, Blair Mountain, uh, first off, is the site of the largest armed uprising in American history outside of the Civil War largest labor uprising in history uh, since uh, the Civil War. And um, it is, you know, it, the, the historical significance of Blair Mountain really is, you know, if there hadn't have been a Blair Mountain, there may not be an American middle class. You know what I mean? The, the, um, the labor movement uh, played such an extensive role in allowing for working people to have a lot of the basic rights that people today take for granted, even though we live in more of a white-collar society than a blue-collar society today. Uh, the 40-hour work week, weekends, b uh, benefits, workers' comp, all of those things, you know, exist because of the labor movement, and the front lines of the labor movement in the post-World War I era were here at Blair Mountain. Now, uh, what uh, we were able, the Friends of Blair Mountain, to get uh, the, the battlefield put on the National Register of Historic Places about a year and a half ago. However, within a week, uh, a petition was submitted by the coal operators, at the time Massey Energy, our friends, <laughs> and Massey Energy and uh, Arch, uh, submitted a petition. There are a number of independent landowners, and if over half of the landowners object to uh, an historical site, then it, legally it has to be taken off. And so they had one person over the halfway point. We had a, and so it got immediately taken off by the state. It's the state that took it off the National Register. And we uh, hired a deed lawyer to look into this petition, and we found that there were several people who signed the petition who were dead and who had been dead for one of them since 1983. <laughs> and uh, on top of that, several other landowners were not even landowners in this area anymore, but had been, you know, 20, 30 years ago. So, I mean, there are all kinds of discrepancies in this list. We submitted all of this proof to uh, the state, uh, to the Department of Culture and History, and to the governor's office, and they refused to even look at it for obvious reasons. I mean, uh, it's no secret that coal controls things around here. We have a lawsuit pending right now. If we win the lawsuit, then we can save the mountain. And it gets put back on the National Register. But our point of having this march is to, you know, sway public opinion and to educate the public of a history that a lot of people have never even heard. You know, most of America has never even heard of this history, and now they're hearing about it for the first time. And of course, you can't talk about the history of Blair Mountain without talking about labor rights, and because they are trying to use mountaintop removal to destroy the battlefield, you can't talk about Blair Mountain without environmentalism and historic preservation and cultural identity. So Blair Mountain has become kind of a symbol with which a lot of different people and different causes can come together. And that's what you see if you walk around here and talk to various people. You're going to talk to hardcore environmentalists. You're going to find some uh, UMWA guys. You're going to find historians like myself. And it's uh, really been uh, a fascinating experience for me, you know, two or three weeks ago I was over at Mate One uh, giving a talk and half the crowd were union miners and the other half the crowd were environmentalists, about 100 and some people were there. And uh, after the talk, I was, you know, some people came up to me and they were saying, this has never happened before, that you had union people and environmentalists sitting under the same roof behaving, you know, uh, enjoying one another's company and talking about things. So Blair Mountain has become, I think, a symbol and hopefully a precedent with which people on that have these progressive causes can come together. Because let me tell you something, if they don't, then they're both going to be crushed.